HDFS is a distributed file system that provides access to data across Hadoop clusters. A cluster is a group of computers that work together. Like other Hadoop-related technologies, HDFS is a key tool that manages and supports analysis of very large volumes, petabytes and zettabytes of data. Before 2011, storing and retrieving petabytes or zettabytes of data had the following three major challenges. Cost, speed, reliability. Traditional file systems approximately cost ten to $14,000 per terabyte. Searching and analyzing data was also time-consuming and expensive. Also, if search components were saved in different servers, fetching data was difficult. Let's discuss how HDFS resolves all of the three major issues of traditional file systems. Cost. HDFS is an open-source software, so it can be used with zero licensing and support costs. It is designed to run on a regular computer. Speed. Large Hadoop clusters can read or write more than a terabyte of data per second. A cluster comprises multiple systems logically interconnected in the same network. HDFS can easily deliver more than 2 gigabits of data per second per computer to MapReduce, which is a data processing framework of Hadoop. Reliability HDFS copies the data multiple times and distributes the copies to individual nodes. A node is a commodity server, which is interconnected through a network device. HDFS then places at least one copy of data on a different server. In case any of the data is deleted from the nodes, it can be found within the cluster. A regular file system, like a Linux file system, is different from HDFS with respect to the size of the data. In a regular file system, each block of data is small, usually about 51 bytes. However, in HDFS, each block is of 128 megabytes by default. A regular file system provides access to large data, but may suffer from disk input-output problems, mainly due to multiple seek operations. On the other hand, HDFS can read large quantities of data sequentially after a single seek operation. This makes HDFS unique, since all of these operations are performed in a distributed mode. Let's list the characteristics of HDFS. HDFS has a high fault tolerance. An HDFS may consist of thousands of server machines. Each machine stores a part of the file system's data. HDFS directs faults that can occur on any of the machines and recovers it quickly and automatically. HDFS has a high throughput. HDFS is designed to store and scan millions of rows of data and to count or add some subsets of the data. The time required in this process is dependent on the complexities involved. It has been designed to support large data sets in batch-style jobs. However, the emphasis is on high throughput of data access rather than low latency. HDFS is economical. HDFS is designed in such a way that it can be built on commodity hardware and heterogeneous platforms, which is low-priced and easily available. Similar to the example explained on the previous screen, HDFS stores files in a number of blocks. Each block is replicated to a few separate computers. The count of replication can be modified by the administrator. Data is divided into 128 megabytes per block and replicated across local disks of cluster nodes. Metadata controls the physical location of a block and its replication within the cluster. It is stored in name node. HDFS is the storage system for both input-output of MapReduce jobs. Let's understand how HDFS stores files with an example. A patron gifted a collection of popular books to a college library. The librarian decided to arrange the books on a small rack and then distribute multiple copies of each book on other racks. This way, the students could easily pick a book from any of the racks. Similarly, HDFS creates multiple copies of a data block and keeps them in separate systems for easy access. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.